Good afternoon. In today's reading from the Word of the Lord, I want to share with you a little bit from John chapter 6. The backdrop on this passage is that Jesus is about to perform the miracle of the feeding of the 5,000. And in chapter 6, John tells us, and he said this to test them, for he knew himself what he would do. What's going on there in that verse is that Jesus has just asked his disciples to feed this multitude of people, even though they are out in the wilderness and there really is, isn't any place around where people could even go and buy food. And Jesus has just suggested to them that they, the disciples, should give all these multitudes of people something to eat. But what John tells us here is that Jesus already knew what he was going to do. I share this with you as an encouragement because nearly every day we come across situations where we may not know exactly what we should do. We are confronted with a situation that seems too much for us, that the only possibilities seem impossible. How should we respond to this situation that arises? And we often don't know what to do. But in that moment, we can, as we look at a verse like this, be reminded that we have a God in the person of Jesus Christ who does know what to do and that he will allow us to go through times of testing to see how we will respond. He wants us to, to think and use the gifts that he has given to us, but he also wants us to recognize that there are many situations ar that arise in life that we are not really able to handle on our own. And so what do the disciples here essentially do? They think about what Jesus says to them and then they they say to him, well, we really don't know what to do. We can't do this. And it's there that Jesus steps in and does what only the Lord is able to do. He provides food for thousands and thousands of people miraculously. And we have to understand that we can go to the Lord and should go to the Lord and admit to him, Lord, we do not know what to do in this situation. And that he is a God who has a solution. That's not to say that we are to just become lazy and wait around for God to do everything for us. As much as it is that we are to recognize that, yes, there are situations where we are not going to have the solution, but that we have a God who does, and that we can admit that to him. God, we don't know what to do. Would you provide me? Would you open a door? Would you do the miraculous? Would you provide? And he will, and we can expect that from him because he loves us. And he wants us to understand that, as Jesus will say later on in John 15, that without him we can do nothing. So take courage and be humbled by these words and recognize that we have a God who loves us, who has made us to be people by design who rely on him for everything. That's okay. That's how he made us to be. And that he will give us what is needed in each and every situation so that we can continue to do what he asks of us. Let's pray to him about that. Lord, we thank you that you are a God who finds nothing impossible. We, we thank you that you provide for us in situations that are too much for us. At times when we do not know what to do, you already know in advance what you will do and how you will provide. We trust you for that, Lord, and pray that you would, would do the miraculous through us and accomplish, it, accomplish your good purposes in our lives. These things we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Blessings to you.